Hello, this is Bree Kirsch, the University Librarian at Briarcliff University's Bishop Mueller Library, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about our updated new library website. So from the Briarcliff homepage, you just go to Library, and this is what our page looks like now. And the Everything search box is still at the top here of the page, so you can do searches for articles or books or DVDs, etc. And keep in mind, this is kind of like the Google for the library, so it brings up everything. So it's not the most efficient or effective search tool, but it'll get you a lot of information. Also, our library hours are posted here. This is for the fall semester hours and spring semester hours. We have the BCU-related links such as Brightspace, BCU email, Charger Stable, as well as web printing. And then we have our services, which I will show you momentarily. This includes ILL, poster printing, libguides, and how-to videos. Then these icons over here are some of the key services and resources that you might find helpful. The first is databases and this is where you can go to find journal articles and ebooks. Under events, this is where you can find out about library events. Academic achievement links to the academic achievement page. The library catalog will take you to the catalog to search for books, DVDs, as well as library equipment such as laptops to see if those are available. This is the research mentor page and then student support services such as TRIO. Here's an About Us page in the library as well as a Contact Us icon. And finally the Writing Center which has moved to the basement of the library building. So this is the services link and here you can go to our LibGuides or Library Guides and these are created for course specific research or assistance and these are often requested by faculty members so you may have library guides to use for some of your courses but it also might help you find other resources so let me just show you briefly. These are the library guides so far. You can see there are course specific guides as well as subject guides. So for example, there's one for social work and one for Spanish courses. And then the other guides are related to our website. Under module and how to videos, this is where this updated library website tour will be posted. Here is our plagiarism prevention module. I've also linked to information about our library databases here, for example, finding ebooks, as well as using the resource Up to Date, which is one of our nursing and physical therapy tools. And finally, there's information about how to use Google Scholar as well. and more modules will be posted here when they're created. For example, right now I'm working one for APA citations, so there will be an additional module here shortly before the semester starts. And here's our list of 49 databases. These are a lot of different databases and it has lots of different subjects as well as disciplines within them. So for example, Academic OneFile is one of our multidisciplinary databases. In other words, it means that there are lots of different subjects in it. So this will be helpful for all of your courses. And if we scroll down, another good one to know about is ProQuest Central, which is another multidisciplinary database. And it is right here, ProQuest Central. Project Muse also has quite a bit of information in it and you can see there are quite a few. Another one to briefly mention is Statista and this has lots of different statistical information in it so if you're looking for facts and statistics this is a good place to go. And one more I want to point out is Films on Demand. If you're looking for academic films you can come to Films on Demand and stream different movies or films 
that your professor might want you to view or that you might find helpful for class assignments or finding out about different topics. This is the events page. You can see our main events here are the Edible Book Contest, the Excellence event, as well as the Human Library event. And you can see there are tabs here for each of those with more details. And other events will be posted here as well when they are created. And this is our catalog page, so you can search for books as well as DVDs and films and other things. This is our research mentor page. We have a lot of new research mentors this year, so we will be adding their images and pictures as they come in for their training for the semester. So feel free to stop by the front desk. These will be the people you will most likely see there, or Angela Hauk, our head of public and research services. So feel free to stop by and ask any questions you may have. And this is their Our About Us page for the library. We have our library policies linked here, as well as our mission and vision. Here's our mission statement and vision, as well as our values and strategic directions. And here are some of our library policies, including circulation, in other words, how long you can keep materials for, as well as conduct in the library. And our emergency disaster plan is here, as well as collection development and our computer lab reservation policy and library instruction and test proctoring. And this is the contact us page. You can see this. It, these are the four library faculty and staff that we have here. Again, my name is Brianne Kirsch. We also have Sister Mary Jane. She is responsible for technical services and more of the background processing of the library. And she also works with Interlibrary Loan or ILL. So if you request articles or books from other libraries. Sister Mary Jane is who helps with that. Sue Owens is our part-time librarian and she assists Mary Jane with some of the technical services and processing sorts of duties in the library. And finally Angela Hauk, she is responsible for the front desk and public services side of the library. So feel free to contact us if you have any questions and here is our specific contact information to reach us if you do want to. So going back to the services page, I also wanted to point out that we have sites here or libguides about how to create images, how to find stock images, how to create music, and how to create videos in case you're creating something for your course assignments. These resources will be helpful for you. We also have links to interlibrary loan as well as poster printing. We do have a big poster printer in the library, so if you need to print a poster, you can come find out about that. And finally, we do have a page for scholarships linked here as well. And here's the interlibrary loan form. And articles usually take three to five business days and will be emailed to you. Books take five to 10 business days and you'll need to include your mailing address for that. So just fill out this form as much as you're able, and then Sister Mary Jane will request the items for you from another library. This is our information about poster printing. If you do have questions about it, feel free to reach out to Angela Hauk, and it has details about pricing and costs, as well as some templates for posters that you are welcome to use. And here is the scholarship page, so if you do want to find out about some scholarships, there are quite a few listed here. So that is a brief overview of the new library's homepage. And if you do have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help you. 